Five, four, three, two, one. Bang, bang. Good of marketing. Well, over here, I really appreciate the film marketers. Instead, or should I say everything? Hrithik Roshan created an official hashtag on his official Twitter profile called hashtag Bang Bang Dare, where he went around giving dare tasks to some of the other Bollywood actors and actresses. For example, he asked Priyanka Chopra to do a handstand and show us three push-ups. He asked Shah Rukh Khan to show us his abs workout, and he also asked Nargis Fakhri to rap for us in a video. But this one was my favorite. Ranveer Singh was asked to pose on a busy Mumbai street, and this is what he came up with. Now when we talk of the marketing mix of a product like a film, instead of the product, place, price and promotions, the stars, scale and genre of the movie play a far more important role. Now look at this movie, it has got Hrithik, Katrina, a mind-boggling budget of 140 crores, one of the costliest movies of Bollywood so far. The movie has been shot in Abu Dhabi, Delhi, Mumbai, Shimla, Thailand, Prague and Greece. Due to all such elements, half of the film marketing is done. They did it again. With deep grief, I announced that Bang Bang is not a film. It's an ad. Yes, I mean it. The first half of the movie is actually an ad vehicle for all the brands. So I won't give away the entire movie away here because it's gonna be bad, right? But just two scenes. In the very beginning scene, we see the main villain of the movie, Danny Dongzappa, in a very high-tech prison in London. And in the deepest core of that high-tech prison, he's enjoying a pizza from Pizza Hut. In case your eyes do miss the very pretentiously attention-demanding Pizza Hut box beside him, they go around talking about pizzas in a very cheesy manner. I will take India to India. I will not get pizza there. Your last request is pizza with extra cheese. Now in the middle of a very tense action scene where they are supposed to carry on with the action, suddenly Rithik says, I am hungry. It's time to promote some food and beverage brand. So they once again land up at Pizza Hut, where instead of just eating and going back to the action scene, Rithik talks like this. Well, I'm confused whether I should get thin crust pizza or thick crust pizza. And then the Pizza Hut guy says, So why don't you try a pan pizza? Oh yeah. Then I assume that Hrithik must be thinking in his mind that it's a restaurant, so why not promote other food and beverage brands as well. So he goes on to add that, please add two Mountain Dews to that. This is not enough. Hrithik is about to jump off a helicopter and then he says to Katrina, literally screaming out his lungs that, DAR KE AAGE JEET HAI! Other brands included Macroman, Samsung, Odomos, Philips, Skoda, Toyota, Volvo and Hokey Pokey. Yeah, it's some ice cream brand. An often underspoken part of film marketing, film distribution. Now Bang Bang is releasing across 5000 screens worldwide, one of the widest theatrical releases any Bollywood movie has got so far. And Heather is releasing on a meager 1000 or 1100 screens. So even if you assume that all the shows of all of both the movies are equally booked, Bang Bang is going to make four times the business that Heather would. Luckily, I assume that the target audience for both the films is slightly different. Those who are more inclined towards the art side of filmmaking would go for Heather, and those who want to go for glamour, Anna. Well, this time also they did something different. Usually, in the final week of promotions, the actors and actresses land up at TV shows and reality shows to promote their movies. But Team Bang Bang believed that the content of their film was so huge that they do not need to hard sell it so much. But yes, they did go to the news channels and other on-ground promotions and cricket shows etc. So these were the 5 marketing tactics of film Bang Bang. Let's see what the next daddy of film marketing does.